Hey everyone, this is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC giving you a closer look at the Lock and Load Pro transport system from Risk Racing. All right, today we're giving you a closer look at this Lock and Load Pro transport system from Risk Racing. If you're not familiar with the system, what it allows you to do is transport your bike, whether it's an enclosed trailer like I'm in now, your flatbed, your motor van, or even your truck bed, allows you to do so without any tie downs. So for riders that are looking for a way to do that without using tie downs, without any anchor points or wheel chocks, this is an awesome system to have. So the Lock and Load Pro is a new version. They had the previous Lock and Load, which is still around, so more budget friendly option. But all the things that I felt they could improve with the previous version, I'm glad to see that they've addressed those and they have now made the Lock and Load Pro. So some of the big changes, install is much easier now. So it literally just takes a few minutes to get this installed. And also you have more adjustability. So they have this in two sizes. You have the standard, which is gonna fit a big range of bikes from your 85 cc's all the way up to your 690 ktm enduros and then they also do have a mini version for 50 cc's up to about your 110 trail bikes but first let's talk about install like i said that's one of the big updates here very simple so you have a base plate so what you're going to do is you're going to take your bike put it in the back of your truck your enclosed trailer your flatbed whatever it is first put the bike where you want it to be low or secured in place once you have the bike in place, then you're gonna take your Lock and Load Pro, move it to the bike, get it set up as if you're gonna install it, and then once you've done that, mark it off. Once you've marked it, remove your bike, and then all you're gonna do is just drill it down. You're gonna screw in the base plate. So it does require you to drill the base plate in, keep that in mind, but what's cool is that these jaws, once you have everything installed, they are removable, very simple to do, I'll show you that. But once you have the base plate installed, all you're gonna do is then just take your jaws, slide those on, each one's gonna have a fastening knob, and then you're just gonna tighten down that fastening knob and that holds it in place. So another big update with this system is also it's adjustable. So you're gonna have a lot of adjustability when it comes to height. I've already talked about how, you know, the different sizes in range when it comes to bikes, but also you can adjust it side to side. If you loosen the fastening knobs at the bottom, you can move those in and out. So for narrower bikes or for wider bikes, they give you plenty of adjustability. Now let's talk about how it works. So once you have everything installed, you're gonna have your jaws completely up. And what's cool about this new system, it's on a ratchet system. So that's one of the big improvements, much easier in my opinion to secure the bike. So all you're gonna do is have the jaws up. Now you have these red tabs back here on the back. You're gonna flip these down. Now once you flip those down, roll the bike in until your foot pegs are contacting the jaws here. Just make sure you've adjusted the width to where it's gonna be correct. And then once you've done that, what you wanna do, I just sit on the back of the bike to help compress the suspension just a little bit. Once I've done that, I just press down on these with my feet and that's gonna lock it into place. So I can literally do it right now with my hands, I'll show you. So I'm just gonna pull down a little bit and I just locked it into place. Now once you've done that, because it's a ratchet system, the jaws are going to be secure. You don't need to worry about those coming up and now your bike is secure. So literally you're just gonna walk it in, press down on the jaws and you're good to go. So very simple to do. And then when it comes time to remove these, all you're gonna do is just lift up on the red tab sit back down on the bike again, and then you're just gonna press down a little bit on the jaw, that will free it up, and then they're just gonna pop right up, and you're gonna walk the bike out. Now, a couple things you do wanna keep in mind with this is if you have a two-stroke bike, just be mindful when you're pushing the bike through that you don't hit your pipe on one of the jaws. That's what's nice about the system being adjustable is you could just make it extra wide, push the bike through, and then bring that jaw back in. Or you can kind of tilt the bike to the side to walk it through, it's gonna be your option. Or also, you could just load the bike backwards. Now, if you plan to load your bike backwards into this setup, keep in mind where you mount this. Because right now, you can see how we have this bike, it's facing forward. If I were to flip this bike around facing the other direction, I wouldn't be able to close the, the gate on this trailer. So just make sure you're mindful of that. Give yourself a little extra space if you are gonna load a bike in backwards. And also something new with this system is you now have this rubber piece on the jaw. So it's just gonna help protect your foot pig and that is going to be replaceable if it does wear out. But like I said, very simple to install. No tie downs, no wheel chocks, no anchor points. So it frees up a lot of space. And another big benefit to this is that once it's secured, you don't have a lot of pressure on your fork seals. So transporting your bike for long distances, that's definitely a bonus in my book. So again, for your enclosed trailer, your flatbed trailer, bed of your truck or your motor van, if you want a way to secure your bike without using any tie downs whatsoever, free up that space, this is a really cool system to use. If you guys have any questions about it, leave your questions or comments below, we'll get those answered. And to pick yours up, it's real simple, just click on the link at the end of this video or head over to RockyMountainHVMC.com. Orders over $75 ship free, which means these are gonna ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that way you stay up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I am Chase, 
We'll see you on the trails.